And we are learning more tonight about the company the girls used for their parasailing adventure. It appears it has had similar issues in the past. News Channel 15's Lamar Holiday joins us with more. Lamar? Yeah, Mark and Heather, those similar issues have led to lawsuits. After Good and Fairchild were seriously hurt, many have blamed the company for offering them the ride when bad weather was approaching. Just a few years ago, Aquatic Adventures was in some hot water after a woman was run over by a jet ski. The case was set settled in 2010 for $650,000. Another lawsuit was filed in 2009 and involves two other teenagers from Indiana. The case involving the two girls from Indiana who were hurt just two days ago is strikingly similar to the case that I have against this company that's ongoing right now. The parasailing company did release a statement this afternoon. It says, quote, the events of July 1st, 2013 were tragic. Our heartfelt sympathies go out to the families of the injured girls, and we all pray for their speedy recovery. While we adhere to best practices to minimize the risks associated with water sports activities, sudden weather conditions can and do occur. As a full investigation is ongoing, we are unable to comment further at this time. And Governor Mike Pence was in Roanoke this evening, which is where Sydney Good is from. He made a statement about how they're improving. We got a good report tonight, and I, I'm, I'm so encouraged uh, to hear the progress those uh, young ladies are making after that accident this week. For more information on the girls' progress and fundraising efforts, head over to Wayne.com. Lamar Holiday, News Channel 15.